Dead Space 3, Chapter 4, History's Ember. The system is extremely remote, beyond even the most distant settlement. It was a terrible risk, shocking in blind as we did, but we had no other choice. If we want any hope of stopping the marker epidemic, we have to follow their signals. We have to find the source. Santos has deployed a shock beacon for the Eudora to follow, and we are now headed into the cluster of debris in orbit, possibly the remains of an ancient fleet. As we close in to investigate, our ship was attacked by automated mines. We jettisoned into the debris field and managed to slow, stow aboard a fairly intact ship, the CMS Roanoke. There's no power, but there's air trapped within these walls. I removed a piece of shrapnel from Buckle and managed to stabilize his condition. After setting up this stress beacon, Santos and I set out to investigate the ship. We soon discovered the Admiral had been locked in her quarters, presumably for going crazy. When we discovered a complex mapping of this former military's expedition, the Admiral knew something about the markers and how they relate to this planet, but it's all written in marker gibberish. Only one man I know can decipher this. Only hope Robert can find him and follow his shock beacon. Ah, I, I hope Robert can find him and follow the shock beacon as planned. If he doesn't, I fear for, I fear our small group will either starve to death or suffocate and mankind will go extinct as the markers continue to spread. is ending and all you can think about is us damn right i never gave up on you oh no you get up on the world i paid my dues or don't you think i'm fucked up enough already isaac this is do or die we're stuck without your help are you with me doesn't look like i have a choice perfect now what Ah, oh, god damn it.
way? Yeah, I'm going the right way. I missed that last time. Was it even there last time? Ah, fuck. I already know how to use stasis. You went through that with the first chapter. Isaac Carver. All secure here. How the others still live. I'll meet you at the Admiral's quarters. Don't leave me waiting. This feels weird. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this was meant for two people to use. Uh, this is... That's just... Look. Uh, I think this game's cool and all, but I don't think it that making it into a multiplayer game was a good idea. I just don't think it was ever actually meant for that in the first place. Point of a dead space game is to for like alone, isolation, all that other stuff. Oh shit. obsessed with making a key. A key to what? Hey, a key to what? Some sort of alien device. A machine. I think that she believed that it controlled the markers. Oh my god. She wanted to turn it off. She wrote that over and over again like a mantra. Or instructions. This is exactly what we've been looking for. This isn't just some random planet, Isaac. They found the source. The Marker Homeworld. You have got to be shitting me. Marker Homeworld. All right, let's regroup in the control room. We can plan our next move from there. Clark, shake it off. Let's go. Clark! Devin Marjorie. I'm risking a lot of brave men and women down in that ice cube. Soldiers that could be fighting the war back home. Now, can somebody tell me, for the love of God, what the hell we're looking for? We are looking for hope, General. Oh, good God in heaven. Support for the war and our ability to fight it are dwindling. We are out of resources, we are out of public approval, and we are out of time. Just answer my question. What are we looking for? Markers. You must be joking. No, General. I'm not. I will be sending Dr. Serrano to your quarters to give you a full briefing. You must be out of your goddamn mind. General, you are dismissed. Turn it off. It says turn it off in my head. It talks to me. It tells me things that no one else can hear. 
just for me, just for me to turn it off, turn it off. It'll all go away. It'll all stop. Uh. Personal journal, Ellie Langford. I wasn't sure how he'd feel seeing me again. He's been through a lot. And I, with him, for much of it, before I left, I could tell things were bothering him. But I did what he always does, suppressed it, kept it locked inside. I asked him when he was going to face his demons. He said some things should remain buried, the like goods from digging up the past. It's strange and fitting that we find ourselves together once more, this 200-year-old flotilla. Just that. Doing just that. I just need to make sure I was still on chapter four. Because <sighs> when I was starting the, the third chapter... We've cracked down a scrapped transport shuttle called the Crozier. If we can get it spaceworthy again, we can use it to reach the planet's surface. No chance. We find the shuttle, then we're getting the hell out of here. Damn it, Robert. If we don't stop the markers, there won't be anything to go back to. Either way, it looks like the shuttle's our only shot. Where is it? In the biggest ship of the fleet, the Terra Nova. But it's a long walk. Well, they must have had some way to travel between ships. If there's a way, we'll find it. Okay, I don't know why, but I thought that thing was going to get back up. What, what the hell? Okay, I'm pretty sure I looted this area before. Good afternoon, General. Admiral Graves asked me to prepare this information for you. <clears throat> when the Black Marker was exhumed on the Earth in 2214, it defied our understanding of science. It appeared to generate limitless energy, a trait of obvious importance in our resource-strapped times. There was an effort to replicate the marker, hoping to understand its technology, thereby acquiring limitless energy for ourselves. Imagine our surprise when we learned they are not sources of energy, but receivers of it. Via carrier wave from somewhere deep in space, Triangulating this marker signal revealed a previously undetected planet, now known as Tau Volantis. We hope to find the source of this signal and finally harness the energy for ourselves. And if this works, it could mean a better future for all of us. General, thank you for your time. Good afternoon, General. Admiral Graves asked me to prepare this I'm not sure if they were really lies in the first place, but the black marker was clearly things the were not what it seemed. <laughs> ah, fuck! here at some point oh no I did not oh a shotgun I need that Isaac, 
There you are. Where is everyone? Finding a way off this wreck. Santos, tell them what we found. Of course. We found a little maintenance craft, a skip. It doesn't go very far or very fast, but it will take you to the Ultima ships. Here, I'm sending you the coordinates. Now, let's get the shuttle so we can head home already. Robert, we are not going home. Hey, hey, we'll get the shuttle first and decide what to do with it. I'm heading out to take a look at this. Skip. Not before I look at the workbench. And get that shotgun. Contacting me on a private channel. Because I need to know if you're on my side. We're taking sides now? I know you two had a thing, but she's mine now, and I love her too much to let her do this. If she's right and this is the mark of the home world, maybe there's a chance of stopping this. We both know how this is going to end. If they found a way to stop the markers 200 years ago, don't you think we'd all be safe by now? It doesn't add up. Oh, I guess. I get it. You think you and her? Yeah, we'll, we'll forget it. She's over. It, all right. Oh God. You can already tell that this guy is going to be a huge problem later. Do you guys hear this? My rig's picking up some kind of looping message. It sounds encrypted. It's coming from the research vessel CMS Greeley. This could be really important. If I get a chance, I'll check into it, Santos. Isaac out. <laughs> And how many of these things are there?
Santos, I made it inside the Greeley. Any luck with that encrypted message? No, but if you can find the source, maybe we can find a way to decrypt it. Roger that. Isaac out. Santos, looks like parts of the ship are sealed off. Sealed? On purpose? Do you think you can get it open? I'm not sure. If I can get the power on, I may be able to lift the security lock down. Hold on. Snake's missing a valve. is originating from the radio room. Set my way for I'll head there. Ah, fuck a puker. I found the radio room. Just give me a minute to release this lockdown. God damn it. God damn it. I don't 
Could you? I don't know. Dr. Barton, someone is broadcasting a coded message planetside. Who are you trying to contact? Dr. Serrano? Tell me! Ah! Stop! Please! They wouldn't tell me! I don't know! Commander, this is Unit 3. They barricaded themselves in with the broadcasting equipment. If that's where they want to die, let them. Cut the ship's power. It'll kill their life support and cripple the transmission. What about the others? You know the orders. No one lives. Understood. No! Ah! Please! You don't understand! You can't! You can't do this! Ah! Fuck. It's like the menu of this game. I don't know what I was going for that. Personal log, Laura Angstrom. The frozen, the frozen specimens are breathtaking. Their physiology isn't entirely dissimilar to our own in the broadest sense. They are large, almost majestic in a way. Their crescent heads are both horrifying and beautiful. Dr. Serrano suspects there may be millions of them down there, trapped in the ice amidst the markers. Who were these noble creatures? Why did they build the markers? Are they responsible for placing the black marker on Earth? For what reason? I believe we will find all these answers and more on this frozen planet.
Yeah, that was close. Get this thing burst fire. Oh, God, I hate that sound. Guessing those are the new infectors now. No longer some stingray looking motherfuckers. Isaac, what is that horrible noise? Uh, I think I pulled out something I shouldn't have. The gravity plating is tearing itself apart. The message is a warning to someone named Serrano on the planet's surface. Did you find a way to decode it? Yeah, the encryption key is in the office of Laura Ingstrom. Oh, let me see if I can find it. Yes, here she is. I'll send it to your locator. Benefit in a way since it's also tearing apart all the necromorphs that are coming at me. Look! Pokers are fast.
Fuck. Santos, I'm sending you the decryption key now. I see it. Hold on, I'll apply it to the message. Hide Rosetta? Who's she? They must have been trying to hide her from the execution order. Her research could be the key to all of this. But why issue a cleanse order if it would destroy such an important secret? Maybe they panicked. Or maybe they knew something we didn't. Isaac, thanks for looking into this. It could prove very useful. Good to hear. Oh, I'm heading back. We've got a long road ahead of us. Isaac out. It's a torque bar. I think I... No, I don't think there was any changes to the suit. Yeah. Wow. I really love this helmet.
this thing out. Was that? Oh shit! Where did that come from? Ah oh, fuck! Oh. Well, I ain't got no friends, so... Okay, this is, this is actually like one of the things that's really bad about this game is shit like that. Do you know what? Just games like this in general where they have certain missions locked. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't play this by yourself. You need a friend to play with. Oh, my God. That's the reason why I quit Destiny. It's because they put all the really, really, really good shit behind the raids and you don't do matchmaking in the raids you gotta ah oh now no, i'm rambling on about something else that i shouldn't think about yeah whatever let's keep going I kind of a little upset that we don't spend enough time out here. I think it's really cool.
I'm inside the Terra Nova. Which way to the shuttle? Santos, you found the Imcon records. What did they say? Only that the shuttle was decommissioned. They were going to pop it out. Great. So basically, nobody knows? Uh, there must be more detailed shipping records somewhere. I'll take a look around the ship. Oh, that was pretty good. I like that skip. I know. I just, I just enjoyed the ride. Like the little things, I guess. Anyway, too bad I couldn't do that co-op mission. Whatever. I guess this is just one of the several negative things about this game. Since, like, at least in my opinion, Dead Space should not have like uh, this co-op multiplayer thing now. Dead Space 2 did have a very criminally underrated multiplayer mode where you played as humans and the other guy team played as necromorphs. I played that while it was still around and I thought it was pretty fun, but nah. Not not that game mode. And descent they they got this shit. I really hate it when they put in stuff like this. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like and subscribe.